Hey guys, so playing a little bit of Seven Wonders today on Board Game Arena. I'm at the point where you choose which side of the wonder you use, and I'm kind of confused on this one because both sides cost the same. The bottom one, however, gives you a cumulative of 10 points, same with the top, except the bottom you get 12 gold, whereas the nine you, up top is just less. So I have no idea why you would choose the top one over the bottom one. All right, round one. So I don't really like the yellow cards here. I do like the blue line. It's honest, good points. I'm considering taking these resources because it aligns with some of my wonders. But ultimately, I think I'm going to go with this blue one because if you can get free upgrades, then resources don't matter. And as an aside, that's actually part of a combination mask called Sock and Booskin from Greece. And that is specifically the comic one, which I think is Sock. Although I could be just making that up or at the very least mispronouncing it. Oh, wow. So that is a lot of science. And the thing with science symbols is it's exponential. So if you can get a ton of them, that's great. But if you only get a few of them, they're not worth too much. And I'm going to pick up this blue card here, probably because that picture looks like my beautiful girlfriend. And um, I'm also a sucker for Greece, and that's supposed to be a depiction of the Oracle of Delphi, I believe. Something really helpful about Board Game Arena is they give you this little like up free upgrade path reference, which can be incredibly useful. I don't look at it too often, admittingly, but it's nice. So taking a look at this round, I have some science available to me, which I tend to steer clear of. Maybe as I evolve as a player, that might change. My wonder here requires silk. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that up. I could also grab some clay for the future, but it just doesn't align as well with my wonder. And one trap that I find new players come into this with is they get a really great resource engine with the clay and the silk and stuff like that. But ultimately that just gets you money and money is really only worth three points at the end of the game. Oh wow, so that's a lot of military available. I don't generally like going military in Seven Wonders because it only gets you one at the end of the round, assuming you outdo your opponent. Um, later on, it gets a little better because you get more symbols from it. I'm going to go ahead and choose this five bucks because normally you get three from discarding a card. So this gets you a little bit better return. I could also pick up the ore there because my wonder later on needs it. But who needs to make their own goods when you can just buy it from other people? While I wait for the other players, something else to mention about the military is that you also get more points as the game goes on, so it becomes more valuable. And because you get more symbols as you go on, it's really easy to play catch up with military, in my opinion. So, meh. All right, so we basically just have resource production options. The ore aligns with one of my later wonders, but the wood is the more immediate need. As I kind of look around the table, I see stones available from my neighbors. There's one wood available. I don't see a lot of ore, which is unfortunate. That might become a problem. <laughs> so I have an option between science and science. Either science I can build or science that I can't build. Uh, so I'm gonna go with the one that I can build. And I might actually consider discarding this, but as I look around the table, it doesn't look like there's a lot of science symbols out already. So not a ton of competition. It may end up being worth it. Oh, look, we have some little visitors coming to our city. Uh, just taking a couple of goods as they go. All right, so military is worth three this round. So I'm a little more inclined to that. I'm not a huge fan of this temple because it cost me four bucks and I'm a bit stingy. Eh, resource generation, it doesn't align with any of my wonders. Don't care about that. Maybe if it was ore. This science symbol is a free upgrade and it also aligns with the science symbol that I already have. So yeah, that's, that's the one. Uh, leave a link and subscribe down below. It actually makes my day and I'm not even kidding. Oh, it looks like we have at least one other person going for science. So a little bit of competition there. A couple of blue options available, but they're really expensive. And it looks like ugh, my opponent's going to get one of those for free. If it wasn't really a great option available, I'd consider just selling them off. But one way or the other, he's going to get it. 
Um, let's see. Taking a look at the Caravanersary. I think that's the one because it gives you whatever resource you need of the four basic ones. And it also gives me a free upgrade later on. I do have to pay a little bit for it, but you can't be a Scrooge all the time. Let's see. Um, I, I do like the two bucks for that courthouse. That's looking pretty good. Um, I could get the clay, but why would I need three clay? Is there even a building in the game that takes three clay? It might be a good time to do a wonder, maybe. Um, it cost me two to do it. I get four back, so net two bucks. Um, okay. I think going for the courthouse is the right decision here. Two dollars for four points is a really good trade. Uh, at the end of the game, they're only worth three, so a little bit of discount. <laughs> so it looks like I have two options to get the ore that I need. Uh, looking around the table, one of my opponents has military that's going to beat me, so I'm going to end up losing a point. I should probably go over that better whenever I do these videos, like the basics of the game. I'm not really sure if that would be useful to people or not. Uh, but when you lose in a military battle, your opponent ends up getting a scaling amount, one, three, and five, depending on the age. And then you consistently lose one. So I really neglect it because, I mean, you lose and you lose a point. It's not really a big deal. Oh, it's bigger than the devil. Trading grounds for free. Uh, that would let me conquer this opponent or at least tie them, I should say. And then to the right side, that would potentially let me conquer them for three points this round. Yeah, that's a good choice. Um, I guess I could get the stone, but like, why would you need three stone? Again, is there even a car that needs that? All right, so neither of these cards really help me at all. I don't need extra silk. I don't need more wood. Let me construct a wonder this round. Um, taking a look around the board, it looks like my... The player to my right looks like he may be doing a little bit better. So let me give the money to the player to my left. Um, let's see. A lot of free options this round. The Pantheon's really great. That's a free seven points. Um... Uh... Oh man, I wish I had built on my wonder more. That could potentially get me nine bucks and then three points at the end of the game. Uh, let's see. Green cards, that'd be, I think, three points. Military, that would. Oh no, that's, that's manufactured goods. Wow, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points. That's fantastic. That'd be worth the same as Pantheon. But. I'm going to go ahead and go with the Pantheon and just hope that the manufactured good card comes back to me. It doesn't seem like it's worth it as much as the other players. Oh, darn. I just noticed this player could actually pick up that card and get a lot of points, too. Um, let's see. Oh. So I have a free upgrade for the blue card here. It's free five points. It's honest points. Good points. Um, the yellow cards, they don't get me a a lot of points. I don't have a ton of yellow gray cards. And none of the science symbols really align. I could get rid of that tablet just to prevent it from going to my opponent. Is that a purple card that gives you one of any science symbol? That's amazing. So nothing really pops out to me as excellent this round. I do have a couple of free items. Oh, the science symbol I could get rid of in order to deny it from my opponent. This would end up netting me two bucks and a couple points at the end of the round. Um, I could also build a wonder. It's always an option. Oh, the wonder card here. That could potentially get me nine points. It's really expensive at $10. Maybe it'll come back to me though. Maybe, maybe some of the other players will have a hard time playing it and I'll get a second chance. Yeah, let me go ahead and go with this. It'll get me two bucks and two points for nothing. Ooh, blue card. Oh, I can't play it. Uh, oh, a circus. Who doesn't like a free circus? 
Yeah, I think that's the one. Let's start getting into the military game. Looking around, um, that would let me beat both players on my left and my right. That's pretty good. And in the third age, that's five points for each opponent you can beat. That's nice. Uh, I'm also swimming in money with 17 bucks. How, how did that happen? I don't even have that many resources. Oh, no. My opponent played a three card, so I'm being beaten on the right here. Still winning on the left, though. That's pretty good. Um, that would, science symbol would be nice. I still don't have the wonders amounts to make that really worth it. This card here would be nice. Um, let's see. I think this science symbol would end up giving me three times three, so nine points. If I'm recalling the rules correctly on the science symbols. Uh, this would get me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So, oh, it doesn't count myself. Uh, yeah. So I think the science symbol is the obvious one. The scoring for the science symbols just boggles my mind. Uh, the easiest way I remember it is I just remember it as being exponential. The more you get, the more points you get. Um, could be a good round to get military to kind of establish predominance there. The problem with military is the more people who go military, the more it costs to get the military points. So you kind of get diminishing returns. So it's kind of the reverse of the science symbols. Uh, I guess I could wonder. Um, eh, yeah, let me do this. Oh, good. I ended up winning that battle. So that card got me five points. I guess it was worth it. Huzzah! So I hope you enjoyed the video. It actually brings me a lot of satisfaction knowing that uh, I can perhaps entertain you guys or maybe even help you guys think through games like this better. If you did enjoy the video, leave a like and subscribe down below or leave me a comment. More importantly, if you need help with anything or want to see something in particular, it really helps me kind of guide what it is that I take the time to edit and share with you guys. See ya.